in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Tonight, I ask that you bless us, challenge us again. We have come to Bethel, the place of bread. We have come to the threshing floor. We have come to the place of purification. We have come to the place of impartation. We have come to the place of hope. We have come to the place of transformation. We have come to the place of the oil and the wine. We have come to the place where you can open our eyes and wash it with eyes out that we may see. We have come to the place where the voice of the Lord is not scarce. Tonight, O oh God, we cry that in a new way you speak to us, you challenge us, set us on fire once again. And O oh God, beyond the speakings of a man, we pray that your voice will echo from the throne and cause us to hear in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say that I am strong in the strength. Of the Lord, we will trust in you. We will trust in you. Let the wind say. sing just one more song. Amen, amen, amen. Sing it as a prophecy over your life. Let it be so. Amen, amen, amen. To your will, to your word, to your power. Amen.
listen let me start tonight with a word of hope there is somewhere god is taking you and no power in hell will stop it i want you to believe what i'm saying the bible says now are we the sons of god and it does not yet take your eyes away from the temporary setbacks no money no ministry no influence all that is rubbish the bible says they looked unto him that's the key he lifted the brazen serpent and he says to look take away your eyes for all those who looked at the serpent the one on the ground could not have an effect on them he said if it be thou bid me come and peter set his gaze but the winds were still boisterous and he turned his eyes you know that song turn your eyes upon jesus who knows that song his wonderful face and the things of earth will grow strangely deep in the light prophesy to yourself in one minute no force is capable of hindering the purposes of God over my life shake away unbelief shake away limitations I may not look like it but the spirit of God is doing something you may not feel like a man of God but the anointing is within your horizon there's no plan of darkness that is able to thwart the purposes of God over your life. Can you prophesy to yourself? Go into the place of destiny by the anointing, by the power of the Holy Ghost. There is no power, no force. The gates of hell does not sustain the ability to stop me. I decree and declare that I am rising by the Spirit. Hallelujah. This, this is already a message to someone. Because you see, brothers and sisters, this life has a way of taking away your gaze from jesus some of you had to trek to come here and while you were trekking the devil told you where is the grace you claim you have for prosperity some of you had to fight all kinds of battles to be here but let me tell you if your life were ordinary the devil will not waste his time around you there was something the spirit of the antichrist saw with the star and began to manipulate Herod to look for where Jesus is. Satan has refused to let you go because there is something in your life and around your destiny that makes him uneasy. And in the name of Jesus, I declare to you again that no power, it's already too late, no power, no power of hell will stop you. You see, for as long as it is night you will continue to weep but when light comes this light we are talking about the bible says there were many lights buddhism has some light occultism has some light they manipulate things but the bible says he made two great lights great lights the lights that rule in the day and the lights that rule in the night when the sun shines you wonder if there are stars again all of a sudden the brilliance that is the same way god does not bless you by just prophesying to you alone he blesses you by getting you filled with his light you become so full you turn back and can't find darkness again the bible says in john chapter one listen carefully and verse five it says the light shineth in darkness the light the word that you have that has been brought to you by the spirit is capable of dispelling any darkness 
so brothers and sisters let me encourage you you may look around your life and not find any traceable evidence that rewards your hunger and your passion for God and the devil will want to lie to you to say for how long will you continue seeking him without a sign let me tell you this do you know in the spirit five minutes to your breakthrough it will still not be like it but all of a sudden he said in a moment in a twinkling of an eye your life will just shift and change in a way that will bless you that's how God lifts people please I want you to be very intentional about your expectation God is not a fool he doesn't call the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain creator of the universe what can you do what can you do over your life before you sit down Psalm 45 Shabrando Zikatulia Hasarabale Psalm 45 The Lord just put it in my spirit to prophesy over your life Words are powerful Realities are created through words 45 verse 12 he says and the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift he says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor there is listen I taught you something we are, we are going to teach on something but it's just a grace that came on me now listen to me listen you see brothers and sisters everything in life that we know is bought with money is that true do you agree with me but do you know that money itself is a product that is bought with something come promise promise once a phone listen carefully and then I give him money this money can buy a phone do you agree what if it is money he wants what can I give him to buy money? The name of what you give that buys money is what the Bible calls true riches. True riches. It is true riches that can purchase unfaithful mammon and alongside with it buy every other thing. The peace, the joy, the influence. Are we together? There is something in this kingdom that buys every other thing. On earth, this looks like the highest, most valuable thing. When you possess this, you can make any noise and ramble and talk rubbish. But in the kingdom, there are realities that we possess. Listen carefully. And the Bible says with it, everything, whether this, Whatever it is you can possess is, is called the true riches. There are seven of this spiritual capital. One of them is called light. We buy things with light. The power, light is capital in the spirit. The anointing is capital in the spirit. Words are capital in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I speak over you that in this season, 
I program a climate of spiritual reality above you and I declare may it begin to call strange levels of lifting in your life may it begin to call strange levels of honor to your life may it begin to call strange levels of speed in your life we're going to sit down shortly let me pray for the grace for speed now listen be sensitive because the people the anointing will come on sometimes they can attempt to run physically so you hold them so they don't scatter anywhere right now i stretch my hands the grace that came upon elijah that caused him to overtake the chariot of ahas by this apostolic and prophetic grace i stand in the office of my god i shift you by speed enter a new dimension in the name of jesus speed 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 i prophesied in one day let zion be born i command speed speed in your finances speed in your spiritual life speed in every area of your life whatever level you have been in spiritually and you have refused to shift I stand by prophecy and I shift you to a new dimension new level of prophecy new level of revelation new level of encounters new levels of signs and wonders receive it in the name of Jesus It is what is on you that controls what is around you are you hearing what I'm saying in this kingdom it is the spiritual climate above you I'm speaking by the spirit it is the spiritual climate above you that controls the realities that are captured in your life it takes more than desire it takes more than zeal again I'm speaking to you any climate over you that is drawing things in your life that are putting you in trouble any climate that is refusing you from rising you are a man of God with an anointing yet doors are not opening because there is a climate in the name of Jesus I command that climate to live your life now down shortly lift your hands I want to pray on your hands not you just your hands it was with the hand Moses held the rod he says and with these hands you will do signs and wonders I stretch my hands to your hands and by the spirit I make contact with your hands may these hands carry strange fire fire for signs fire for wonders you lay these hands and change the destinies of men you lay these hands and speak the purposes of the kingdom. Everything these hands come upon, I declare that it is anointed. It will be an instrument of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down if you can. Just, just leave those under the anointing. Please sit down. Hey, 
la barando sarele katia le kala barati legete kurati shalabarota sodo balada balada Hallelujah. You see, if the power of God cannot come and change you, then you are wasting your time. Brothers and sisters, I am ministering to you what the Bible calls true riches. This is God's justice system. Oh, I didn't, I was not so educated. Oh, I was not this. I didn't have wealthy parents. But there is something that can come upon men and help them. You are receiving the help of God. God doesn't just help people by wishing. He puts something upon your life. I've taught you this. What is on you is what controls what is around you. Not what you want. Not what men say. They can talk nonsense from morning till night. If you ever turn and see strange results in your life whether you know it or not there is something controlling it if a man ever looks at you and says i want to bless you nobody has the heart to do it on his own no sir if as a man of god you ever call for a solemn assembly and people come there is something on you it's not about stories and nonsense What is upon you is what controls what is around you. I repeat, what is upon you? If you desire something around you and it's not there, don't look for it. Look for what must come upon you to bring that thing you desire. Who oh, is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Much less love and beauty. Endless work Nothing in this world Can satisfy Jesus you're the constant That run dry Treasure of my heart And of my soul Witness, you are merciful, redeemer of my past and present wrong. You're the holder of my future days, and all my days on earth, I will away. The moment that I see you face to face For nothing in this world can satisfy Jesus, you're the God that won't run dry Yes, you are the God that won't run dry other things can run dry. But Jesus, you're the car that won't run dry. Jesus, you're the car that won't run dry. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are gathered here and we will always allow you to build, to change to lift any spirit within this vicinity that is not of the Christ I stand here right now if there be any force any yoke any agreement upon anyone's life i speak right now be 
set free be released now every other influence on your life that is not of the Christ bringing you oppression programming failure to your life I stretch my hands and I command liberty right now in the name of Jesus please be seated God bless you This is koinonia. The anointing that comes upon you when you come here is the Holy Spirit doing something within you. Because the words that you are hearing are not just carnal words. It's not just a lecture. The words you are hearing is spirit and life. So while the word is coming, something, an anointing, one of the true riches of the kingdom comes with the word too if you believe what I'm teaching you you will so dominate life in a way that will surprise you when you do not possess the riches of the spirit then every other thing becomes Lord over your life but those who dominate in this kingdom are those who possess the true riches of the kingdom Hallelujah. I have a new topic tonight, but last week um, I was to give us six points on what the secret place is. I gave us five and we had to stop because of the time. Let me quickly give us the last one. Please, you can, um, especially if you were here, just go back to your notes and I'll give you the last point very quickly and then we'll go tonight's discussion we discussed last week that the secret place is a place of brokenness we discussed that the secret place is a place where we obtain mercy that the secret place is a place of revelation where the mysteries and the strategies of the spirit are revealed to men especially the mysteries that's responsible for your destiny I'm lifting your family, said the Spirit of God. No, this is, not, this is not for everybody. I'm speaking to someone now. I'm lifting your family. It will be like a dream. It will be like a dream. I'm lifting your family. 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 Lifting your family. The Lord is bringing... Bringing... A long period of struggle for a family to end that's what the Lord is doing a confusion of many years coming to end within a week completely within a week Lord is speaking to someone here and he's saying I will visit you again of course everyone can receive but this is a particular revelation God is saying I am coming to you again the way I came before I am coming again I am coming again it will be in this month this month of June he will come to you again with a very strange encounter and you will receive something from that encounter that will change your life in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated so we said that number four that the secret place is a place where we find rest and comfort rest and comfort and then number five we said the secret place is a place of revival and restoration revival revival of fire revival of love revival of passion 
revival of grace revival of mantles revival of new dimensions in the spirit and then i'll give you the last one and then we'll go this is not the topic for today i just want to make sure we complete the note that the secret place is the place of spiritual empowerment we gain power not by strolling on the seat it is in the secret place that we find true spiritual power in a secret place you get the anointing for your personal life and in the secret place you get the anointing to accomplish God's agenda for a season you can be anointed as a believer but not anointed to be relevant for a season listen very carefully it is possible that I'm anointed if you come to me I can pray for you but as far as God's agenda within a territory is concerned it's possible that you are not relevant there is a special anointing that one is not the anointing for a believer that one is not even the anointing for your call and office it is the anointing that makes a man relevant within a season that's why you see many anointed people become voiceless after certain seasons they are still anointed they still love god but the anointing to play a key role in god's program is not there so although they are anointed you still get blessed but it's very clear that the lampstand is not on them within that season The Lord put a very serious topic in my heart tonight that I want to share. Tonight's topic is going to challenge you, is going to inspire you, and is going to provoke you. Pray in the Spirit for one minute. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Pray in the Spirit. Just pray in the Spirit for one minute. Just be sensitive to the instruction. You're allowing your spirit to contact something while you pray. Don't stop, keep praying. Galilean, God most high, Jesus Christ is the Galilean of Israel. Galilean, God most high, Jesus Christ is the Galilean of Israel. God most high Jesus Christ Please be seated if you can Hallelujah sit down get something to write if you can unless understand what the Lord wants to help us I'm not sure we'll be able to complete it tonight contending for kingdom relevance 
part one. Mm. Contending for kingdom relevance, part one. Contending for kingdom relevance, part one. This is a very powerful teaching that seeks to show you how you can become a voice. You can represent the voice of God to a generation and you can rise to a position of kingdom influence. Remember, we're still in a season where God has declared that he's lifting men. Acts chapter 13 and verse 36. Please give it to us. Just sit where you are. Jakatoske pradishka la prendi teriba. Reketo kasada balada bako te araba. Shekete paradu sekete bali araba. Something is lifting from your life. Sheka paruta siada. Lifting from your life. Sheba kotosi. Lifting from your life. Sheketoske liabara. I change that situation now. I change that situation now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I change that situation now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I change that situation now. For David, please give us Amplified. He says, for David, after he had served God's will and purpose and counsel, but he served it in his own generation. He said, fell asleep and was buried. But he said, David served God in his generation. It's not enough to serve God is enough to serve God within the context of a generation. Are we together now? There are mandates that are left for generations. Every generation has a spiritual curriculum about God and his purposes that God intends for them to accomplish. And hear me, your relevance within a generation is predicated upon your understanding your generation and knowing the corporate mandate that God has put upon that generation. You can live within a generation and serve God, but serve God in a way and manner that does not influence a generation. It's not enough to serve God. You must serve God in a way and a manner that brings the purposes of God to a generation. And this is what I want to teach you tonight. He said, David served God's will and purpose and counsel in his own generation. Not another generation. Everyone that the Bible records that was used by God was used within the context of a generation. Listen very carefully. If you miss relevance within your generation, then you have missed relevance forever. Are we together? I think I was teaching in Lagos during the Younger Gilded program and I gave them an illustration. No matter how anointed I am, anybody above 55 years is not within the scope of my generation no matter how i love them they will be blessed from my life but they will quickly go to papa Oyedeko, 
and Papa Deboye because those are the voices of that generation. Are you getting what I'm teaching you now? It's not enough to seek relevance. You must seek relevance within the context of a generation. Your voice does not speak to every generation. There is a generation where your relevance is allocated to. God sends men not just to places, he sends men to a generation. And if you cannot identify your generation of impact and influence, then you will live a very useless life. And David, after he served the will of God, there are some things that are allowed in other generations that are not allowed in others. Are we together? Every time God was about to move within the scope of a generation, he would find a man or he would find men and then begin to introduce them to the dynamics of relevance and greatness. Contending for kingdom relevance. There are things that we need to know if we are to rise to a point of kingdom influence and relevance and have taught us again and again in this place that kingdom relevance is very important to have kingdom influence and it is also very important to be able to speak the purposes of God when you are unable to represent the purposes of God within a generation then you may not be able to to influence that generation Judges chapter 6 please very quickly we are going to read from verse 11 Judges chapter 6 this was an encounter that the Lord had with a young man called Gideon verse 11 and there came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak which is in Ophrah and pertained to Joash and all of that and his son Gideon Gideon threshed wheat by the wine press to hide it from the Midianites remember they were being threatened by the Midianites and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said the Lord is with thee O mighty man of valor." and Gideon answered and said unto him O my Lord if the Lord be with us why then is this befallen us and where be all his miracles which our father told of saying this the Lord not do this and that and that for him and the Lord looked upon him and said go in this thy might and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites have I not sent thee it didn't look to Gideon like he was sent but God said have I not sent thee with a message and a mandate to a people next verse 15 and he said unto him listen listen carefully he said oh my lord wherewith shall i save where not the whole world israel you have sent me with a message but that message is to a people and a context he said behold this is my limitation my family is poor in Manasseh and I am aside from the fact that the family is poor I am the least in my father's house look at the excuse he's giving God is telling him I am lifting you and then he says I cannot do the assignment because of two things one poverty There is a relationship between poverty and lack of influence and lack of relevance. Number two, lack of greatness. I am small. My family is small. 
and yet even in that family i am the least in my father's house 16 hallelujah hallelujah and the lord said unto him surely i will be with thee and because of my presence with thee thou shalt smite the midianites as one man follow me very carefully tonight <laughs> jesus psalm 24 and verse 6 he said this is the generation not this is the person listen carefully this is the generation that has a mandate as a generation to seek god but to seek god in the similitude of jacob listen very carefully he's saying the word oh jacob there is oh god of jacob he said there is a generation mandated by god to seek god in the similitude of jacob are we together now when god tells you to search for him he looks for human references that are reflections of that expectation are we together when god wants to teach believers to love he will lift up john and tell them to study his life when god wants to teach people how to walk in the blessing he lifts up abraham and tells them to study his life in james chapter 5 when god is teaching people how to pray strategic prayer he lifts up a prophet called elijah and says study him when god wants to teach people on faith he lifts up peter when god wants to teach men on revelation he lifts up paul the apostle are we together now so god is very figurative in his expression for you to understand this scripture you have to go back to genesis 28 and genesis 32 and study how jacob sought god because he said that mandate that was on one man jacob is a mandate that one day will come upon a generation that a generation will be mandated to seek the face of god in the similitude of jacob are we together god appears to jacob in chapter 28 and until that time listen carefully there was no god of jacob when god revealed himself he said i am the god of abraham there was a way i taught abraham to seek me there were possibilities about me that no one had known but my encounter with abraham introduced the world of men to these possibilities the god of abraham then isaac the son used the god of abraham to create the god of isaac the god of abraham was a springboard the mysteries of god that his father knew and out of his own dealings with god god created a name called the god of isaac by the time we get to psalms here jacob had done his own too and god names himself by a man's experience with him jacob's encounter is so powerful that god's covenant people were not named after abraham they were not named after isaac they are not called the abrahamites they are not called the isaacites they are called the israelites not even the jacobites so powerful was this encounter that god said the generation that wants to know me must seek me in the similitude of jacob you want to influence a generation God is lifting her, Dr. Halima. I'm seeing her climb a ladder. The Spirit of God is lifting her to a higher level of influence. That's what, that's what I'm seeing in the Spirit. You want to be relevant to a generation. 
if you love God and you desire that through your life his purposes be established then you must contend for kingdom influence I've taught you again and again in this place that kingdom advance is a product of two things one is global evangelization number two influence the purposes of the kingdom must be established in the hearts of men through evangelism and then through influence must be established across every strata of human activities are we together and so you must know how to birth the purposes of God and I want you to follow me as I share with you there are certain things in the spirit that when you touch you will never be irrelevant please listen to me but most of what it takes to be relevant believers are not seeking it we are seeking nonsense all around yet we are looking for kingdom relevance the things that make for relevance in this kingdom are spiritual in context first in that order we are searching for mundane and carnal things that do not have the fortitude to give men a voice in a generation that's why I shared with you the secret place before coming to this topic. And David served his generation. I hope you know, listen very carefully. I hope you know that when the Holy Ghost came upon the apostles in Acts chapter 2, from then onwards, the strategic apostles that were listed in the Bible were not the only ones who received there were many other people but a few people grew to a point where their voices echoed through history to the point that they were captured in this bible when you study history not just bible history you study history and archaeology you will find out that many other spiritual things happen concurrently as at the time certain historic writings were being written spiritual things but they were not relevant to the context and the program of God within a generation it's amazing how people think because they are born again or they have a church or they have revelation they will continue to be relevant in God's program for all seasons no sir I have seen extremely anointed men and women of God and I have seen the boundaries of their relevance with respect to a generation I have seen people who are not too anointed but I've seen them at the epicenter of a generation's relevance there are men and women who would look at people like Joel Austin and look at people like Joyce Mayer and um, if you're one who is into the things of the spirit fasting prayer with all honor and respect you may not so much appreciate their ministry because of the context of their communication it sounds very basic yet in a way that looks as though it's a charm they have commanded the attention of a generation effortlessly unbendingly they have entered their sabbath in relevance and yet again and again we find anointed men miracle workers still crouching scrounging at the doorways the corridors of relevance understand what i'm teaching you tonight and you will enter your sabbath there will be no need for competition there will be no need for unhealthy comparison because you will know that the keys of a generation has been given to you <laughs> you have captured my heart consume my heart with your love you have captured my heart consume my heart with your love one more time Oh, yeah. 
that David so served his generation he peeped into another generation that was not his own and he wanted to still negotiate and God said no 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 you have tried Abba he wanted to start building a temple to start the mandate of another generation and God said you have tried you have tried you have tried David you have served God you have shed blood in the process just relax let your son take over and he said I must still contribute let me gather the materials and God said this man David you you are a man after my own heart and because of that you may not serve in that generation but I will show you look at the Messiah and David saw a vision the Lord said to my Lord sit down that was the coronation of Jesus he said David so long he, he mastered his generation there was no other voice speaking Samuel was a man who held the keys to the voice of God in his generation you could brag and talk nonsense but if you did not find Samuel you would keep crying it wasn't pride oh God is everywhere yes but there are gatekeepers Samuel Samuel to the point that when a man was about to step into the anointing God had to use a coincidence to lead him to Samuel. The Bible says of Samuel that none of his words, none of his words fell to the ground. But remember before Samuel started, there was a man called Eli that served the priesthood of his time. There was a period of more than 500 years of darkness from Malachi till the appearance of John after prophet Malachi it was somewhat a very dark season for the church no prophecy no nothing everything and all of a sudden a young boy born to a man who began to manifest a level of priesthood called John the prophet was in the wilderness and all of a sudden, for the first time, they would encounter a prophetic voice. They had lost touch with prophecy. And then, John was so wise, he knew when his relevance was coming to an end. And when Jesus show up, showed up, this is what he said, that I may decrease. I have exhausted myself, Jesus. Listen. John remained relevant because he announced Jesus and he kept upholding Jesus. The moment he brought Jesus down, he died too with him. Although his mandate was over, he said, who is the next? Let me uphold him. Let me give you this secret. I want to teach you something powerful. If you are in ministry, never fight your sons. A father that fights his sons loses his honor. A son that fights his father loses his life. There are punishments allocated for the various offenses. Every time you see God lifting a man, join to lift it. If the last move of God always fights the next move of God, chances are that when we are in the program of God and a shift begins to happen, and God begins to raise other voices. The, the threat of feeling irrelevant begins to make people to not want to partner with what God is doing. And they now begin to fight it. And you cannot fight what is of God. You will go down. And so they go down together with it. Do you know why David's name still remained relevant? Lord, you will not allow me to build the temple. You said I've shed innocent blood. I would have been offended and David's name would have gone down. But he said, no, Solomon, I will gather the materials for you. Build the house. I will gather the material. Everybody who partnered with everything God was doing also remained relevant. That was the wisdom of the woman with the alabaster box. I'm a prostitute. I mean, I don't have a name. But Jesus, can I partner with your relevance? And Jesus said, anywhere they talk about me, this woman too, her story will be remembered. 
there are people all across this nation and all across the earth who by either because their assignment has come to an end or their lack of spiritual alignment has edged them out of God's program once upon a time they were at the epicenter of God's program but either because of pride or disalignment or just the assignment coming to end you know why Billy Graham remained relevant he knew when he had served his generation and he created a legacy institute and all he was doing till he died was lifting all those who it was their generation and although he's dead he has been immortalized through his ability to lift men same thing with my dear mentor eternally dr miles monroe he died but his books brought him back to life he said body you can be laid to rest mind stand up and keep speaking Miles Monroe is still alive. His body is in the grave. But his mind is still in us. We have kept him alive. Because he saw a generation. One of the last books that he wrote before he died was passing it on. The mystery. Not everybody will be relevant for our generation once upon a time papa ea adeboye grew with a generation and today he's old with that generation no matter how prophetic you are your mother would prefer to listen to papa ea adeboye than you i said it in lagos that even if i cut a human head and throw it down and carry it up and fix it back to show how powerful i am an old woman will look at me and say wow young man i'm impressed let me go to redemption camp quickly i'll see you later because even if they come for this program you were not sent to that generation the voice that grew with that generation is the voice that represents the purposes of god to them listen demons know this occultists know this believers do not know how to grow with a generation such that you become a dimension of god the four faces at the throne represented different dimensions of god what i am teaching you tonight will keep you relevant because by the time you are establishing this kingdom your generation will know you to be the face of something about god to them every time you talk of prosperity we go to some adeemi for his generation when you talk about faith and signs and wonders am i not a man of faith but you see our parents will not come to me as that reference i didn't grow with that generation to represent that dimension of god i'm teaching you how you cannot be erased in the purposes of god you want to stay relevant it's more than making money you must represent a dimension of god to a generation and grow with them knowing you to represent that by the time they are established they will educate themselves to look up to you by grace as a revelation of that dimension who is the samadhi of our generation who is the bishop Oyedeko of our generation who is the papa Ia deboy of our generation who is the wf kumuyo of our generation who is the apostle babalola of our generation it's not just giving yourself titles i'm apostle nonsense i'm i'm prophet rubbish that's not the issue it's about staying it is your generation that will call you not you the bible said they shall call you the reward for being branded to represent a dimension of god is the name they call Are we together some of us your ministries right now have a lot of small children and teenagers and you are embarrassed because you are hoping that rich millionaires of 60 years will start coming to your church you better thank God for sending a generation for you to grow with them are we together 
I remember years ago when he and I started, there were a lot of young people, students all around, and people would just look at it like a children's on the school class. And I said, oh dear. Those people that are children are now workers scattered all around. You see that? If Papa Ia Deboe says all believers in Nigeria fast for three days, whether you're a member of Redeem or not, you are going to fast. If your pastor said don't fast, you just respect him and pass and say nonsense. You just started a church two years ago and you are telling me to disobey a man. He has represented the voice of God, not just to Nigeria, but to the world. Contending for kingdom relevance. I will never lead a group of people who are anointed and not relevant. I have studied the systems of the kingdom and I have studied the limitation of the ignorance of anointed men of God. Men and women of God, especially in this nation, are very ignorant when it comes to the strategies for kingdom advance. The scope of our relevance is building individual capacities to love God. But the strategy for kingdom advance is seldom understood. And our generation is at the mercy of a bridge, a repairer of the bridge. Otherwise, we will have very heavy spiritual capacities and lose a voice territorially. Are we together? Praise the Lord. Five keys. Let me not waste your time. Straight to the point. Five keys. You want to serve your generation? Please, I want you to listen very carefully. To become influential enough to establish the purposes of, of the purposes of God within a generation. Number one, you must know God. You must know God. You want to serve the purposes of God. You must know God. Not you may know God. Not you can know God. You must have an encounter with God. Daniel chapter 11 verse 32. The Bible ties exploits even within a generation to the knowledge of God. Are we together? It says such as do wickedly against the covenant he shall corrupt by flatteries he said but the people that do know they are God they are God let me tell you what that means to know God is not just to know the general God you must know the God revealed to your generation if you are in Jacob's generation and you know the God of Abraham alone you will not be relevant in Jacob's generation every generation has a dimension of god revealed to it whoever finds that dimension is the person who becomes relevant within that context are we blessed but the people that do know their god they shall be strong and shall do exploits listen to me in this kingdom it is your fraternity with the spirit realm that culminates to your dominion and your victory ask any great man if they are honest enough they will tell you there is a certain level in this kingdom and in the world today you cannot rise beyond without a fraternity with the realm of the spirit whether in business in ministry listen carefully career whatever it is If you ever see anyone commanding any dimension of superior results, whether through occultism, whether in the it's secular or whatever, I can tell you beyond the secular knowledge and all of those things, a time came in their lives when they became assisted by the realm of the spirit. For 30 years, Jesus as the word, the living logos was powerless. But when the Holy Ghost came upon him, that partnership turned him into Christos, the Christ, the anointed one, the Messiah. You must know God. You must know God. Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23 to 24. Please give it to us quickly. Jeremiah chapter 9. Thus saith the Lord, not an angel, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom 
our generation has many wise men who are poor many wise men who are broke many wise men who are not relevant at all the bible says first things first he didn't say wisdom is not important let not the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the mighty man glory in his might let not the rich man glory in his riches 24 but let him that glory in, glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me that's the pride of the believer your the foundation of your confidence in life should never be because of the car that is parked outside because of the food that is on your table because of your degree that is in your drawer are we together no. all those things only make sense when you are centrally connected to god those who will be relevant in these end times those who will defy the operation of demons those who will defy the causes and the yokes of culture those who will defy all the manipulations of darkness they are not just well-meaning people but those who know their god understand it and know it me are we blessed you go and prescribe this to someone who wants to be great and see how he will frown at you he won't exactly hate it he will just smile and be angry because he believes that when you want to be great just teach him business principles do this do that quickly you want to be great oh let me teach you on book publishing book publishing is the art of a that gives b this to c all those things are rubbish if you don't know god one yoke from your village can rewind your success is all you are you are you are laboring for nothing the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning hear me nigerians wake up in the morning and sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow that's why many hard-working people are angry they look at life and say it's not fair and you are right i was a graduate since 1961 and i've not built a house now and look at all these small 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 boys sorry for you the foundation of relevance for every generation is not just your connection to god but your knowledge of god when last did you ever see this being prescribed as a formula for greatness and please those of you here who are into personal development and the rest is wonderful when you are teaching the secular you go ahead but when you are mentoring people let the foundation of growth be the realm of the spirit are we together you know you talk like this and a lot of people believe that you don't know what you're saying you don't know anything about secular success you're wrong you're wrong you must know god jacob had an encounter with god a nation has never been named after you a nation has never been named after your father and my father listen carefully a nation has never been named even after your president there is i'm not sure of any nation in the world that has been named after a man so when a man is so relevant that god's nation is named after him study how he rose up like that the foundation was not intelligence the foundation was an encounter genesis chapter 28 when you read from 11 to 17 he lighted upon a place and laid down on a stone to sleep and the bible says when you begin to read down to 17 that a ladder was connecting the earth to heaven listen very carefully and then at the top of it give us verse let's see verse 13 or 14 and listen behold the lord stood above it let's hear what god is saying god said i am the god of who god himself is calling himself the god of abraham so it's not something men are calling god himself called himself not i am the king of kings i am the god of abraham i am the god of isaac stop 
no other person had been interested in knowing me enough to add to the list that means it was never supposed to just stop as the god of israel i am the god of abraham the god of isaac i am the god of jacob uh-huh i am the root of david david added himself i am this and that then joshua selman too comes to add himself so that our children when you say i'm not saying you say the god of joshua selman i'm just teaching you how it is when you say the god of joshua selman it's not the same as the god of abraham i don't know what abraham saw i don't know what what his business was with god but there is a dimension you hear the people say the God of our fathers had appeared to me. At that time, Jacob had not yet been in the list. He says, the land where out thou will this and that and that and that. And then Jacob woke up in the morning and said, the Lord was in this place and I knew not. How terrible. He said, this is the house of God, the gates of heaven. The next encounter will be in chapter 32 and verse 22. Please give it to us. We're reading down to 30, chapter 32 from verse 22. 22, 32, 22. Chapter 32 and verse 22. Let me read it from here. Chapter 32 and verse 22. And he rose up that night, Jacob now, and took his two wives and his two women servants and his eleven sons and passed over forth Jabok 23 we're reading to 30 and he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had 24 and Jacob was left alone Jacob got to a point where everything that represented his relevance he had to give it away wives go possessions go everything go and when he was alone the reason why many of us may never encounter god is because there are many things together with us your money is still there your house is still there every other thing is there but when you are left alone he says and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of day 25 and when he saw that he prevailed not against him he touched the strongest part that means you have been strong by yourself without me i see that you so love your degree to a point that every time i say i'm lifting you you smile and says because i'm an engineer of course i should be lifted it's because i'm a doctor it's because i'm an architect lord i know that contract and god's touched that area and said it may not always be by what you call strength it is by my strength and the hollow of jacob's tie was out of joint and he wrestled with him 26 and he said let me go god now for the day breaketh and he said jacob may that be someone's testimony that you say lord in this generation i don't just want to be a story i will hold on to you and people say look everybody is getting a job oh, everybody is moving and you say just leave me may god bless you but lord i cannot leave this place you see many graduates make a foolish mistake the moment they write their last exam they pour mineral on their head and joke around and play around tap water and immediately they are done they carry their bag and run and join the queue of confusion when you should stay back and have a two weeks retreat and lie down near one tree and say lord i'm not leaving this place until i f what will i tell my generation that I went to school for five years? Is that enough to give you a voice? I entered somewhere in Abuja and the receptionist had three MSCs. Receptionist, three MSCs. I said, if you come to this place and it's grammar you want to talk, you will be a foolish person. Three, two of them were abroad and then one in the country. Receptionist. Don't think it's a small place. A salary can... Let me just keep quiet. Oh, don't don't think reception is like you are thinking one small kiosk no that's a place where only kings enter and i said my god you need more in this life brothers and sisters i'm not teaching you to be lazy but i'm telling you that if you want to command a voice 
you can carry your first class degree and get a job and meet somebody who was the son of a herbalist who also got the job with you and they say we are considering someone for promotion and he's laughing at you already he's pitying you because he knows one week to the promotion interview your leg refuses to move from your bed and you come to the office and he says well just to let you know that you had me you had that they say my father is a herbalist <laughs> wicked world that we live in i know someone who was promoted true story sat down on his chair for the first time and died on the chair there they went to consult all kinds of people some habali says his wife that killed him some other habali says the guy that mops the the office that killed him it doesn't matter he's dead he's dead who killed you it's not a, you are dead can you know God to a point that someone is concocting a charm? The first portion he drops, fire responds. Fire. And says, no, no, there are some touch knots. Ah, ah. He suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake. Saying, touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. Listen, something happened, I think it was last week. One of our dear ones, some of these touts, these boys around that catch people, collect phones and the rest. And I got to hear that one of our dear ones, as he went home, he was, whether he was on his way home or he went home, I think he went home and then went to get something or so afterwards, that some of these touts, these guys just attacked him. They attacked him, collected phone. This, they caught him like this with a knife, like a ram. They showed it to me when I was in Lagos over the over the, the, the week i just came back today and then when i saw it i was just laughing i allowed them the protocol and the rest to shut the door i got down on my knees i said lord except i am not anointed the person who did this thing listen when i said that by evening they had caught them they are right now as you call alex outside the police now right now do you know how they caught them they after that prayer, the guy now went to go and waylay somebody he didn't know he was a police officer. Then they caught him and packed all the phones. And the phone they picked was the guy's own. They called and his friend was with him in the hospital. As it is today, they are carrying him to the hospital to identify him. And only God knows what they will do for him. Do you know God that much? That the bowing of your knees can manipulate anything in the earth realm see let me tell you if you don't understand this most times you would think people are boasting when someone says i will pray for you you've heard that thing i will pray for you doesn't pray for us so because you know his prayer is powerless but there are people if they say they will pray for you rejoice they are not using your faith he said for this cause i paul bow my knees to the father i'm praying for your sake ah jesus prayed for us so john 17 he prayed for us when i was coming the military people came to greet me i said please you people should use those boys to teach people in this area that there are still apostolic and prophetic voices we are not just acting nonsense here and then all kinds of young boys just go and continue oppressing people what devil what nonsense i'm saying it again let me announce across this territory that any gentleman any lady whether you are here or not that gets up to manipulate people boggle their house i command the earth to fight them from tonight That some of them will go to bed and lie down and not wake up the territory should know that God has voices it's not by coming on TV and making noise Elijah said there shall be no rain we need to sanitize this spiritual environment Oh,
everything about God you just need to know the dimension of him revealed to you I don't boast of knowing everything about God there are some things about God I totally don't know but let me tell you there are dimensions of God that he has shown me by his grace your pursuit if you want to be relevant to a generation you must know these dimensions of God going to church is not enough are you hearing what I'm saying Praying and fasting is not knowing God. There are only tools to help you know God. One of the major reasons why people don't know God is they don't give Him time. Be careful with this I'm busy, I'm busy. You need to give God time to know Him. Our generation, we pray, we fast, we sing, we go to church, but we are unwilling to give God time to know Him. If you see people doing three days fast, there's fire on the mountain. Real fire on the mountain. Lord, where are you? Then the fire goes down and you leave him. That you sit down and say, Lord, I want to know you. What message do I have to my generation? You must know God. I'm challenging every one of us here please tell yourself the truth and stop allowing people to just clap for you and say wow prayer warrior wow fasting giant wow word word revelation signs signs and wonders producer and you move around fooling yourself that you know God and life tests you and there is nothing about God that you know it says that I may know him. Pray one minute and say, Lord, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself to me, O oh God. That I may know you. Lord, I'm tired of ordinary Christianity without power. Show me your glory. Show me your grace. Shiba Koroto Suprahati Asalabarati. Hallelujah. There are things you must know about God. There are things I know about men. Um I used to have what I, I I cannot I can't remember who exactly, but there used to be one gentleman years ago. I used to tease him. He looked very powerless as a man, but you don't see any power, you can almost shake him. And I said, if they ever tell me you fought somebody, I won't believe because I know you. I know you enough to know you are not even strong to lift a sizable chair. So if somebody tells you that that guy finished beating one police officer, you just laugh and say, except the anointing came on him. There was something David knew about God that made him stand before Goliath. We stand and face the challenges in life based on the knowledge of God that we have. The armies of Israel had the same weapons that David would later hold, but they could not confront Goliath. There was something Goliath too knew. He was not just big. Goliath was not the only giant in the land. Even among the Israelites, they were also giants. But they stood and Goliath was roaring, wicked man. And David said, don't mind him. Carry the sling. He said, I'm going to remove this, your head. You will fall down. I will use your sword, cut it and feed the birds. Goliath said, am I a dog? He said, you will soon know. When he wound that thing, it was not just his hand winding it. There was an anointing. And he hit Goliath once. Goliath himself was shocked that he fell. 
there was something Joshua, oh bless his name Joshua, knew about God. And he said, go around, don't mind all this big mountain for nothing. Notice that all the challenges are usually very big. Jericho, Goliath, Red Sea. So don't be surprised when yours is big. Why will you expect it to be small? How then will God be glorified? 25 years barrenness. Are we together? There is something you need to know about God. That you will stand before a generation. And they'll say, ma, it's two years and you are not pregnant yet. He said, just wait. And all of a sudden, by the third year, triplets will come. Nine years in three years. And they'll come and say, ah, you just gave birth. I didn't give birth. I manifested miracles. Don't call that is not delivery. You go and try it. If you get triplets, show me the science of producing triplets. I know something about God. Where someone threatens you and says, in this office, they bow to me to rise. If you are not willing to bow to me with honorarium of one million and then respect, you are not rising. No. And everybody above you will say, just this guy is connected to the presidency. And he say, all right, sir, may God bless you. And you go back in the night and do something that will make that man call you in a hurry and sign your document. And you say, just, just for starters, to let you know that there are men and there are men. Are we together? Someone plants a charm to kill you. And he's sleeping in his room. The charm meets him there physically again. Charm said, you sent me. And somebody changed my direction and brought me to the same place. I remember years ago, one of our lady went to meet a herbalist in this place. This, this one, a herbalist for something like that. She kept giving him money, was concocting a charm for something. And then the last one now, he now asked for an honorarium of 30,000. I said, her, or he, he now started calling her number. You better come and fulfill your this. You have made me start the charm. True story. You will run mad. And she now ran to me, came and confessed his pressure. A and B and C happened. I said, warn that Habali, so my concern is not the charm, it's his life. Tell him that he should check in the realm of the spirit. You don't speak like that if you have not met God. Because many people have made bold face. When I used to counsel people in Area E, some of the protocol people would testify. People will come with a letter. You would think it's mineral they are holding for me until they open it. You will now see that it's a charm. They collected it from one baba and brought it and I said, bring it. I look at it as a nonsense. You ask the charm to come. There is something you need to know. This world is wicked. If all you know is what your eyes have seen, you better start crying because there are arrows that fly by day. You, you don't need to offend anybody. Who are your friend? Nonsense. It's a wicked world. You mean this lady is getting married? Ah, no. We have to do something. Haba. You mean this man is the one, this young man is the one building this house? No. Ah, ah, ah. You mean is this, this young guy PhD? No. It took me 11 years to get PhD. Why will he get PhD in four years? No. You mean this young lady, five children? No way. Our world is wicked. It's not a news. Are we together? Years ago, um, one gentleman that I know got married in Kaduna. And then we went then to go and just celebrate with them. And while they were bringing the gift, true stories. I like praying for gifts. We noticed, I was sitting down and I noticed after everybody had dropped everything. The wedding was almost over. And then a woman just came with something that looks like a bucket. Just dropped it. I tapped one of my colleagues. And said the Lord just showed me something. We opened that bucket, true story. And we, you know this bucket, you put sugar or semovita, white, this white bucket. We saw it with a stone in the middle. I lifted it. I said, You see this? This is fruitfulness blocked. That woman will get married now until her husband drives her and says, We can't marry two men. Go, let me look for a woman. And I told them, I said, you people should just be praying on the other gift. Just leave me with this one. Mm. 
can you confront the gates of darkness and go to bed if they bring a charm for you now and say sorry help me and scatter it please will you say come for koinonia on friday or come and drop it in miracle service or say, no 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 apostle is busy bring it and you hold it and without saying any prayer from where you are holding it someone is jumping from their house and saying i won't do it again ah, may god make us a powerful generation all this ministry of just falling down and he said two people will fall the realm of the spirit is higher than that oh you need results shift in people's destiny just falling down and rolling and standing up they that know their god you get up and have a dream and in that dream you see that there's obituary every month in your house you don't sit quietly and then everybody starts dying and you say ah people are dying that's not the time to start disturbing me i say apostle you are sleeping ah uh, prayer department benga promise pastor alpha kenny no you get up and you say he's not only the god of abraham he's not only the god of isaac you are my god And you announce to Satan and say if you if you near the vicinity of my family again it's a decree it's not pride no when to be a lion and no when to be a lamb no warrior is a lamb in the face of battle whoever told you that this world is a playground you must know God greatness is warfare Greatness is not just an equation A plus B equals to greatness No sir I say it jokingly Only God knows the shrines on earth That my name has gone to Maybe your Zaria city Any other place Oh God let him sleep and not wake up While they finish the charm I just stretch Shabaso skabarando kasilia kata God gives men the power to lay it down and the power to take it up. You must know God. Take the time to know God. You don't know God by a one hour weekly service. No sir. You don't know God by a five minutes Bible study. You don't know God by an occasional fast when there's trouble. You don't know God by a fire brigade closed door retreat. You give God time and say, Lord, I want to know you. I want to know you. I want to see your face. I want to know you, Lord. I want to touch you. I want to hear your voice. I want to love you more. There are many of us tonight, God is calling and saying, Stop this religion and be serious with me. Stop this religion. I'm a deacon in my church. I'm an elder. I'm the chairman of marriage counseling. I am the pastor in charge of choir. I'm no settle down and say lord i want to know you reveal yourself i'm tired of lying and pretending i don't have boldness because i don't know you knowing god is not becoming a pastor listen to my message knowing god experientially god uses experiences to reveal men you can't just know god every experience in your life now is an opportunity to know a dimension of god don't waste it by crying around like a fool say lord there must be something all of a sudden all my money has disappeared to the point that i don't have five naira. instead of just saying it's an attack lord there's something you want to show me el shaddai is calling el shaddai he wants to show me that he's the all-sufficient god don't waste your pain 
Don't waste your tears. Use them as an opportunity to know something about God. Apostle have been buried in five years. All right. Use the opportunity to know something about God. So that the next time you are saying he can make a way in the wilderness. It's not a song. It's your life. Are we together? Apostle, I had a dream. In that dream, I saw five points. When my result came out, I saw 2.5. Cry. There is something about God you need to know. It is because many people don't know God. That's why they don't receive some prayers. Notice that people receive prayers according to their level of insight about God. When you pray and say in the name of Jesus, favor, amen. But when you say in the name of Jesus, someone who has no business coming to you, I call, ah, they just say amen. Careless amen that doesn't have faith in it. Because that dimension of God has not been captured. Let me give us one more and we pray for tonight. We'll continue next week. Contending for generational relevance contending for kingdom relevance those who will reign in this kingdom must be men and women who know God whether you are a businessman whether you are whatever you must know God you know sometimes sometimes I counsel people when I travel and um, while I'm counseling them the Lord begins to show me something like charms that they have in their houses or something that they tie on their waist for protection and preservation and yet they come and sit down as a man of God do you know if you are not powerful that thing will fight you in the name of praying for somebody oh God let this guy win chairmanship and that night you sleep and an old man walks you in a dream one word two words be careful and just leaves you and you wake up with headache you don't know where it's coming from and where it is going to you go to the hospital nothing for one week then he comes again you say be careful then the headache stops the next time somebody comes for you to pray for him you say no please go to koinonia when dagon was put face to face with the ark of god the ark didn't remove hands to touch him they came back in the morning and met Dagon. If he just fell backwards, that's not honor. It fell face forward. May your life from tonight be a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Listen, my prayer for you, Koinonia, hear me, is that you don't mock yourself by praying three hours and yet you are afraid of every manifestation of the valley of the shadow of death these boys that scam years ago they sent a text to my phone one i think it's a text they sent to people we are watching you now from where we are and something 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 you have, you have it's like they are threatening you maybe they are watching you through a window somewhere and i, I said look at this they can now lie to you and say go and drop hundred thousand near the green tree near your house and you would think they are really watching you whereas it's a general text they send to everybody fear can create images are we together you have a dream and in the dream dead people are coming to visit you you don't get up and say i saw my father he died 1983 thank god he's your father but what does the living have to do with the dead do you know when you see dead people in your dream I don't mean departed saints now glorified dead people in your dream that's the spirit of the grave that's not the spirit of death that's the, the grave itself has a spirit it's a magnet it's calling you like you are invoking that's what is happening you don't get up and say Chai! nigeria said no what is nigeria shabakatos kalabata oh death where is thy sting Oh grave, where is thy victory? You pray in tongues for five minutes. Distribute fire everywhere. 
and ask that devil to use the face of your father again it's not your father it is appointed once for men to die the man you see that you are calling your father is not your father is a devil carrying the face of your father what what father your father is there enjoying in heaven and the devil is using the face of one person come come to us come we are calling you let's go home come and eat yam see palm oil what nonsense is that that's what happens to a lot of people they just get up and an infirmity has entered their spirit they go to the hospital and check again and again and again until they die the living has nothing to do with if I see anybody I know who has died if it is of God departed saints in light I know if it is a demon spirit I know there is a gulf what fellowship has light got to do with please I'm teaching you this thing if we dwell just in knowing God those who will stand and represent the purposes of God you need to look at the spirit of death eyeball to eyeball we're coming from 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 Lagos and and I think it was because of the weather and the pilots too my god the plane was as if it was it was just plain and now I was sleeping ask them I was sleeping ah if it will crash I will enter if I enter it will not crash ah apostle the other I don't know who that other person is and what he believes he said let the redeemed of the Lord say so you know in this world don't trouble anybody and nobody will trouble what nonsense are you saying like that the Bible said declare ye that ye might test be justified Jesus prophesied that I would die but I will come back if Jesus didn't say it he would not resurrect let him that glory it glory in this please brothers and sisters there are several people here we thank God for the crowds but koinonia God is not just looking for crowds God is looking for quality people that know God not just uh, man of God pray for me man of God pray for me on everything man of God sing for me man of God worship for me when will you now build capacity to be a blessing it's all right you can start small our little children in this ministry are more spiritual than most of you these little kids you see the fire you stand near them and see the presence that oozes out of them because of the simplicity of their heart they are feeding with the food of adults as children pray they pray fast they fast some of them come to meet me after service my daddy is sick my this is sick i tell them darling bring your hand i place my hand and i say go and lay your hands and truly they will do it but adults they won't do it they'll just say don't don't worry apostle just rub your face with with handkerchief and give it because you are afraid of embarrassment Is God speaking to us today by the grace of God and with all humility there are things that I know about God that has brought rest to my life I show you how to be free from worry know God there are things when you know about God when others are crying you are laughing you are not laughing because you are inhuman you are laughing because of a rest that the knowledge of God has given you it was Bishop Koyedepo who said one time his wife was pregnant and all of a sudden they noticed she was spotting and then, you know, medically speaking, they said she's lost the baby and he just shouted. He said, is it a baby you are delivering or blood? My dinner, please. Come on now. That word maintain that child in that stomach until he gave birth. Blessed is she that believes for unto her, not unto them, unto her, some of you can be listening to me and say, ah, man of God, wow, you can preach well. Life will not ask you whether you are a preacher. The way the devil hates me, if I didn't know what I'm telling you now, he would have killed me since. The devil doesn't want me to backslide, he wants me to die.
so a thousand falls by your right ten thousand by, by your side ten thousand by your right side ah, ah. pastor alpha you are still standing i thought people in kogi state don't rise after certain place no 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 i come from zion I thought your, your father worshipped his shrine. So? I, I, I thought that the ladies in your place don't stay three years after they get married. I, I thought the men that come from, from this state are irresponsible men. Say, I don't know who they are. But there's something about the knowledge of God is giving me confidence. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please prophesy one minute to yourself. I live to praise your name. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. I live, I live, I live. I live to praise your name. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. revelation of God to stamp the face of fear fear of marriage will I marry will I give birth will I have male and female what if my husband dies and leaves me what if my wife dies and leaves me will I be prosperous will the church grow the revelation of God is the antidote to fear God is love and when love is perfected in you it casts out fear Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Alpha and Omega, my trust is in you. I put them on you. continue next week hold hands with someone and begin to blast in tongues let the realm of the spirit hear your voice go ahead and begin to pray don't ask anything just pray but the people that do know their God 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 I know you are a merciful God I know you are a restoration God I know you are a lifting God I know you are a gracious God I know you are a mighty God the lifter of men Alpha, Omega Hallelujah Listen If all you know about God Is that he's a merciful God That dimension itself Can take you through your lifetime If all you know about God Is that he can restore you will never cry when things leave you. If all you know about God is that he's the God of the sudden lease. Five minutes to shame, he shows up. To be desperate about your miracle, you do not deserve it, sir. You do not deserve it. There must be a desperation. You want the anointing, you don't you don't pursue it passively and carelessly and casually and hope it to come upon your life no sir no sir you will seek it like a treasure that is missing hallelujah 
tonight I want us to pray don't don't look faith is not foolishness this is a factory where God produces miracles so you, you you are going to have to trust God get angry over what is not working give thanks for what is working but insist insist let me show you something sit down let me show you something before we pray John 15 if you can give it to us John 15 let's look at something Jesus said John 15 let me show you how passionate Jesus is in us producing results John 15 we'll read from verse 5 verse 5 down to 8 listen this is what Jesus is saying I am the vine who is the vine who is the vine but he says ye are the I've taught again the fruits come from the you are the fruit bearing part of me are we together when you come to a tree and you don't find root, um, um, fruit you don't start insulting the root you look at the branch that's the obvious part now the branch depends on the fine however the branch is the fruit bearing part it displays the beauty and the strength of the root and Jesus says I am the vine the invisible equation the invisible part and then he says you are the branches listen he that abided in me and I in him what will happen please read on the same person will do what bear how much much fruit then he says for without me ye can do nothing we're reading to verse 8 he says if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned seven if ye abide in me uh -huh, and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you read verse 8 if you are a Christian one to read hearing I want you to change bear much fruit with produce results ready let's read it now herein is my father glorified that ye produce results so hold on hold on don't rush so by producing results you testify that everything i said in the word you make men believe me when your life produces result so if 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 your life does not produce results men have a right to doubt me are we together because you are the other part of god remember he's the head and you are the body but this is a mystery you don't see that head but the body is a reflection of the quality of the head i always give an, 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 an analogy with with a jimmy's uh, uh, child the daughter every time she comes you see her well dressed happy he takes care of her um he loves her but much more than that for his name's sake are we together if you see the daughter running around no shoes no nothing you look at him and look at his wife and say why are you people irresponsible nobody blames a child for being a child they blame the parents for not being good parents and so god is saying my testament is under pressure on earth and i am depending on the fruits that you produce when you are healed then that word jehovah rapha now becomes proven in the lives of men nobody can no longer say god is not a good god god wants you to produce results you have to understand this it's not something you have to coerce him he wants it for his namesake it is in his interest praise the lord when i hear that anyone who is part of this ministry is doing well in any area i am happy i feel very proud of them i'm very very happy if you're not doing well i'm there for you but if you're doing well i'm proud of you i'm still proud of you even if you are not doing well but you should do well you have to do well are we together yeah hearing is my father glorified give it to us again that you bear much fruit results you know many people say results don't matter it's a joke what else is the is the yardstick if results don't matter what else 
don't you know that even loving God and knowing God is results right the dear lady shared a testimony of a brother who was drinking and smoking anything available and now all of a sudden the guy is madly in love with God that's transformation that's results if he goes back to his friends and they say can you taste it as usual he say no 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 I'm a changed person it's not the issue of temptation I am changed transformed by a reality are we together when people who have concluded about you and said Sam you will never rise and all of a sudden you rise like an edifice and they say everybody from your village does not rise and all of a sudden you rise pastor alpha ah you won't go anywhere oh. listen do you know i love the way god is he will allow your enemies to finish talking then he'll say let's start proving them wrong one by one by one by one that's what god is doing to someone who has carried his big mouth to talk against your god in this year of triumph god will surprise them do you know listen there are people who scorn at believers happily every time they see people loving god they sit down and discuss them and to a point that some of you are embarrassed your phone rings it's a christian ringtone you, you you off it quickly because you you don't want to shame this god who is disappointing you my god the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like what damn it will be like a dream he will say no 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 which promise which promise are you talking about they said the one you know he said no no you are you are joking because people stratify us and keep us at a level and don't want us to rise so that their prophecy will be self-fulfilling but then when the god of heaven is ready to pick people up you know i was blessed by the testimony of a gentleman i don't know if he's here the guy in kogi that got a job what a blessed testimony all of a sudden god just changed his story look at the lady that god healed of hiv i know some of you think it's a lie this is what we are trying to destroy because if how else do you want to even carry the healing anointing if you are still calculating the physics behind the healing of whatever how did a and b become c you are not a christian because the bible said my sheep hear my voice the voice of another they will not hear this is what makes people to carry news all around thinking every man of god is faking miracles because according to their understanding issue they will not directly come and say we don't believe it but the miracle will happen right before their eyes and they say no 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 it, let's let's verify when the devil afflicts you you don't verify it at once you believe it people come and say satan spoke to me he said go and kill yourself why didn't you call us for verification but when god speaks now people you know it just tells you the mindset of people how much people do not believe god please tonight be a believer be a believer don't just stand up don't just lift up hands to receive as though um let's see if god will no god will change your story and beat you beyond your imagination hallelujah one of the things god told me will happen tonight is a dramatic outpouring of the mantle of favor i've been praying do you know listen do you know i, I don't share too much of my personal experiences but i prayed for one year for the ministry of the gift of men one year one year lord send strategic people to my life koinonia is blessed to have men look we are going to pray for the gift of men you hear me say this thing all the time if a man does not show up in your life you are in trouble you are in trouble or if the wrong person shows up it's still the same thing as as breakthrough not coming because it will not move your life forward one man showing up in your life can say david damn come i i just feel like blessing you you sang a song and i had and i want to bless you what does it take to produce your album Oh, sir to produce one song in lagos is two hundred and fifty thousand. you say okay how many tracks do you have 10 and then you are there thinking the man is like you and he's listening to you when you finish he now says this is a check of four million naira please when you do everything let me know and then you leave the man and say so what is the catch he said there is no catch when it is favor there is no catch god will just surprise you and leave you like that somebody will just build a house it's called prepared blessings 
see if you don't believe in what i'm telling you you can go home honestly because this is what we are going to deal with tonight triumph thanks be to god who causes us always 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 to triumph always to triumph that you come for koinonia empty-handed and as soon as the service is over someone walks to you and say i don't know you but god sent me into your life to say from now till september every month i should be giving you twenty thousand. you don't believe it can happen I hear you are five in your family and your dad is dead your mom is dead from today i become a father in this family simple for starters move out of this place into a two-bedroom flat look let me tell you something it's called quantum leap i'm trusting that god will take us into this dimension david you will do a little experiment eh you will take three steps and then you will jump forward like a frog ready now watch let me show you the difference between progress and a quantum leap are you ready this is progress two three now jump this is a quantum leap i know it's a little analogy but see if you if there is no provision like this your lifetime is too small for you to be successful at the rate humans move you will never build a house till you die at the rate your salary is being paid you will never do anything useful at the rate church services are held you will never know god with the amount of the sermons you need a quantum leap i have witnessed it in my life many people here are witnesses of it where god will just all of a sudden change somebody's story i tell you i feel the anointing as i'm saying this this is what many of us need tonight a quantum leap this issue of moving here and there okay thank god you are now employed you are earning forty thousand. let's be sincere let's be sincere in the name of jesus christ who died and rose again in how many years will forty thousand build a house for you now i know many people say it does not matter it matters to any responsible person how much does it take to marry forty thousand the auditorium is how much how much does it take to a child's school fees a child's school fees right now a child who cannot talk the school fees is hundred hundred and something thousand to just teach them how to play and you plan to have five you better listen to what i'm telling you this is why people are, are depressed depressed someone is driving and talking to himself till he dies till he dies because of depression we need a quantum leap Where the grace of God comes upon your life, divine acceleration, triumph, triumph, shaka pataya, triumph by the Spirit. There are ministries that need quantum leaps. If all you do is to invite members through posters, let me tell you the truth get set for empty pews. Please help those under the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? if all you want to do in life is to move like men men i'm ready more than ever let me tell you it's, it's like a flight i've been having an interesting experience with the holy spirit in the last two three weeks my goodness is is a is is a preparation for a quantum leap this man you see has gone no I'm, I'm i'm only saying you better believe god and arise don't let anybody tell you don't listen to him run away from them they won't help you when you are in trouble you will be surprised to see how the vicissitudes of life will distract you. All these problems we are solving is to give us space to pursue our assignment. Not to build a house for building's sake. Not to buy a car for buying a car's sake. Not to eat well for whatever it is. So that if you decide to lock yourself in your house to worship God for 24 hours, nobody will call you and say, why are you worshiping God? You can't be in church and someone calls you and says you better come and on the machine on which machine you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible 
Let me talk to you. Do you know right now? Please come. When you see a gentleman like this, do you know if this gentleman is successful? Many elders will ask him, What are you doing? In other words, how come your life is this fast? Society has made people's growth rate so slow. If you buy a car at 45, they say, Wow, wonderful, you are responsible. But you buy a car at 22 and see people say you're a witch. If they see a young man succeed, you see everybody saying, uh -uh, at this life, two plus two, it doesn't add up. God wants to accelerate the kingdom. The coming of Jesus is near. There is a lot we must do for the kingdom. Listen, you can't spend your life looking for money. It's a cost. It's a cost. It's a cost to spend your life looking for what to eat and what to drink. You will never serve God that way. Pray eight hours. When you are hungry, you are joking. You may endure, but your children will not endure. Listen, hold on. Please, I want you to pay attention to what I'm telling you. You see me preaching from my heart. Otherwise, we'll keep playing games and at the end, many Christians will backslide, Pastor Jakes. They will leave God. How many believers do you know? Who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years people insulted us and said we we're noisemakers those people today some of them are not born again they are not even in christ again they've gotten into all kinds of things survival is a cause you should resolve that issue and spend your life serving god if you are a brother here when i say pray please pray pray the sisters can join but brothers you must pray you shouldn't stand and just be, leave any man of God thing and cry. Listen, there are some of you as you are listening to me right now. There are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them. You have your own mother. You have your own father. And I, how are you going to live? That's the cause of depression. And then God calls you into ministry. No job. You want to marry. You want to move forward. You, you must be a joker you must access another mystery brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many And we're standing here only because you made. And we're standing here only because you made. You made a way. Made a way. When our backs were against the wall, and it looked as if it was over. hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning 200,000 but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone I heard of a woman 70,000 naira every week God is my witness they spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of god please 
koinonia pray pray sabakato sebara balaraba zakata paroko to sepreketi sekete pereko sopra na balaraba balaraba But you did it Fade away Shake it, take it, take it, take it Lord, I cry Hear me, oh God My life must make progress My life must make progress Outside are you praying? My life must make progress My life must make progress. Shake it, poko sota balala 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 balala. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Listen, listen. I want us to break out of cycles tonight. Are we together? I'm going to minister to you, God. There are people here you are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not it's a pattern you must break don't watch it happen and say it's all right nothing solves itself by itself you must engage it with faith lord this poverty thing I've seen it in my family we are not lazy people but i'm seeing it come this lack of being serious with god lift your voice and break every cycle lift your voice and command exempt yourself exempt yourself Exempt yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years. No matter what happens maximum three years one nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence When they want to scam someone, you are the first they find. When accident is about to happen, is when you are crossing the road, the car will hit your leg. I'd like you to pray and say no more. I insist. I've been keeping quiet about this, but tonight I place a demand. Lift your voice. No more. No more. No more. It shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder. The yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points before I begin to minister to us. Listen. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. If Satan finds what belongs to him in you, he's authorized to destroy you. We are going to pray. And we are going to say, Lord, whatever legal access 
the devil has over my life and destiny i apply the blood i invoke the mystery of the blood lift your voice and pray legal access i apply the blood are you praying i apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of abel i apply the blood I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business, on my ministry, on my job. I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail hallelujah please keep standing keep standing everyone we are going to pray now i tell you i'm angry in my spirit luke 18 verse 1 please quickly luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable Luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint verse 2 there's something I'm looking for saying there was in a city a judge which feared not God neither regarded man verse 3 and there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying avenge me of my adversary stop there god is a god of vengeance listen listen i know that's the nasty side of god but the god i serve is not only merciful god there are people who don't need mercy they need vengeance you don't pray if you don't believe it but let me tell you something there is a god of vengeance he said let god arise and let all his enemies be scattered lift your voice and cry Lord avenge I cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life my family koinonia pray arise righteousness and justice at the foundations of his throne oh God of vengeance arise oh god of vengeance arise against the wicked oh god of vengeance arise oh god of vengeance arise against evil doers arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people hallelujah listen there was a man in the book of Esther called Haman have you heard about Haman that man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God not just the Jews the agenda of God the apple of his eyes and then the Bible says through a lot of activities when that plot was gotten the king sent and he said they should go and hang him he already built a gallow in advance in advance we live in a wicked world brothers and sisters let me tell you it's not all about vengeance but there is a dimension of it that is necessary if you must break through the wickedness of men is beyond imagination you are going to pray it again lord there are powers that have tied down my life and my family arise oh god of vengeance arise oh god of vengeance arise oh god of vengeance hallelujah hallelujah listen listen i was told the story of a woman pastor jakes 
married a man that God had blessed and then the man died as soon as the man died strangers came from left right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this they stripped that woman to the last of everything banished her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no you rejoice in my pain the god of vengeance will arise for you i tell you only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it he said rejoice not over me my enemies though i fall yet i will rise again how many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends they lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check sign them off say destroy them the bible says a man's enemies listen 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 koinonia i know many of us are young people but let me tell you when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility you will appreciate this prayer there are men who will kill you and bury you smiling they will kill you and bury you smiling when judas came to kiss jesus a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today they kissed you with a stupid advice and that's that's what has landed your life today they told you stop tithing these men of god are crooks they have destroyed your life are we together tonight i want us to engage the word to engage the word with your spirit if you insist brothers and sisters god will give you a breakthrough if you insist god will give you a breakthrough are we together now i want you to pray one last prayer and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit lord visit the root cause of my challenges I may not know what it is i only know the effect oh god go to the root it says every tree the axe is placed at the root every tree my father has not planted lord go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life the root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands the root cause are you praying shabakata labosu rekete koto shobre gere balala 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 hallelujah hallelujah listen if after tonight's meeting you return with a testimony nobody will ask you to run to the house of god you will go by yourself do you know how many why many people never see god the truth is they are tired of lack of results they are tired of it jumping around doing all kinds of things yes you don't love god just for results but you've heard me say it again at a point in your christian experience results must come as consolations to your serving god visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight let me make an altar call let's start with the altar call first so that we'll finish right now please everyone standing no moving around outside your attention there are people right here everything we boast of is in christ if you are not in christ there is no guarantee please listen very carefully if you are not in christ there is no guarantee whatsoever are we together now 
so you are here we are talking about witchcraft you have joined us to pray congratulations but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation because when a man is not in christ the bible says he's in the kingdom of darkness the very domain of darkness are we together now so when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith there is a spiritual transfer it is only on that basis you can challenge darkness there are two cate categories of people very quickly i'm going to make the altar call quickly when you come pastor jakes will lead you in prayer and then we'll take over and fly tonight and trust god to take us to a realm where we will never return never return to this level in the name of jesus you are here and you are saying man of god is as if you are just prophesying to me you are right it's you i'm speaking to and i'm going to make an altar call one maybe two three minutes wherever you are outside i know there are lots of people you are saying man of god can god forgive me yes he can can god give me a new beginning absolutely no one has made it in my family you will be the first if and only you receive him he says as many as believed in him even to them that i mean as many as received him even to them that believed in him he gave them power to become power to become you do not have the power but you have the will and you can choose right now i'm going to make an altar call whether you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat give jesus praise please clear the way for them there are people running outside let jesus christ step into your destiny koinonia can you motivate them appreciate them as they come don't let any friend tell you why you disgracing yourself shame the devil over your life tonight god bless you keep coming man of god you don't know what i've done just make that step of faith and come quickly run to jesus run to jesus keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to jesus Every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of for all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as your hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shed abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's Book of Life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just the moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you.
precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please, let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister, a sister or so, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing a strange deliverance. I'm seeing a strange deliverance. Bring the person one inside one outside i just want to speak to them please quickly we have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. Free now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Free. I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what is deliverance? Deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor. Deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I'm already seen in the spirit. Mighty. Especially today, God is visiting visitors. If you are here for the first time, God is visiting visitors in a very strange way. Lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. Just keep your hands lifted. Please bring them. Just keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. God is touching people. It's a foolish instruction, but it's what the Lord is telling me. Just keep your hands lifted. Like fire. It's coming on people inside and outside. Bring them out. God is visiting visitors. Visitors, visitors doesn't mean other people are not being touched, but particularly visitors. Father, spare not your hand, spare not your hand, spare not your hand. hallelujah praise the lord let me pray now father in the name of jesus christ i'm praying there are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives their destinies in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life as we shout that name jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden god will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two three they must go from their hiding place 
They must depart from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place at the sound of his voice. I command every spirit. I command every devil. Strange spirits tying down the destinies of men. I command you right now. There is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft being broken. Being broken. Being broken. God is addressing issues of oppression. Oppression. Shakataya. It must end now. It must come to an end now. It must come to an end now. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay. That's what God wants to deal with right now. God wants to deal with it. You don't need to know whether you belong to the category. The fire of God will locate you right now. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone under the sound of my voice, shakata bakata, under the yoke of setbacks, whether you are a visitor, whether you've been here for a long time, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you now. I command that spirit to leave you now. The power of God is touching people. Delay, 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 delay. You are a strange spirit. I curse you by the God of heaven. Delay in destiny. Delay in achievement. that spirit I cost that spirit I cost that spirit bring the mommy out there's a mighty deliverance happening to her delay over your family broken 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 by the spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me a strange instruction. Please, sisters, lay your hands on your womb. Lay your hands on your stomach. Something remarkable is going to happen here right now. There is a kind of deliverance God is doing. I don't know what I'm even doing. But Lord, I pray right now. This is not for everybody. But I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands. And I'm going to pray a prayer for you. You'll be surprised. Every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now one two three release them now 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 Johnson 
Johnson. I'm hearing a name Johnson. 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 We are still praying, please. Johnson. My God, I tell you, I see this fire falling on sisters. I don't know what it is with ladies. God is God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies. Serious deliverance to ladies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are here in this place. Listen. You never rise beyond a certain level. It's not that you don't start. Please listen carefully. I'm speaking by the spirit. The moment is like there is a spiritual embargo. You get to that height. You must crash down wherever you are. I'm prophesying now and I'm praying for you. The power of God is looking for those people. The power of God is looking for those people. You rise to a level and fall. You rise to a level and fall. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside, wherever you are, I release that fire like a messenger to your life. Like a messenger to your life. I cast that witchcraft. Now. I cast that witchcraft. Now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision. My God, hold on. I'm seeing deliverance for children. Like little children. The power of God is coming on small children in this place. I'm seeing children being delivered. Some initiated into occultism. Some initiated into this. Let's just walk the way God is. Father, in the name of Jesus. I speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft, occultism, any kind of initiation. If there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage, I set them free now. I set them free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My friend, lift your hands. That gentleman going. Tap him. there is hardship in your family and the Lord is asking me to cause it right now in the name of Jesus I cause hardship let the anointing of the spirit come on you now I cause that spirit the spirit of hardship I cause you now I cause you now I cause you now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah listen if you are here and you have any blood disease just blood disease any kind any kind blood related issue lay your hand on your chest i want to pray for you right now blood related issue genotype whatever it is um, or any kind of thing maybe any sickness that is blood related please i want to pray for you right now the lord is giving me that instruction very quickly I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a lady who is AS. God is about to change her genotype now. 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 A dramatic change of genotype from AS to SS. From AS to AA by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah please 
if you come from a family where no one in your family is working lift your hands nobody no job nobody just please just do what i'm asking you to do let's save time just lift your hands nobody at all is working no matter what happens just lift your hands i want to pray for you lift your hands i want to pray for you jesus 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 I'm, I'm looking at hands lifted and, and for some of the hands I'm seeing like a rope. This is not necessarily you. This is a representation of your family and I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Get ready for the power of God. Right now, wherever you are, even those who didn't lift their hands, I decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now. Right now, right now, right now. Right now, I release them. I release them. I release their jobs. I release their jobs by the power of the Holy Ghost. 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 We end joblessness here right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people. One, seven, one, seven, one, seven. At the count of four, this is the instruction God gives me. Unusual access to illumination. Lord, where are they? Inside and outside. One. Two. Three. Strange illumination. Four. Take it now. Take it now. The spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom. On common access. 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 I release it in the spirit. Access. 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 Hallelujah. Please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come god is going to use you come come and stand here lift your hands stand up in the name of jesus i don't know you huh but an anointing will come upon your life today and god is going to change your life like day and night receive that grace right now strange grace step into that dimension that dimension there are impartations going on now let's just receive the impartations impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters stir up the waters i release the gifts of the spirit strange gifts strange gifts Strange manifestations of power, of power, healing anointings, healing anointings. I activate healing anointings right now. Healing anointings. Step into it. Step into it. Outside, inside. Step into it. God is releasing mantles, mantles of healing, ancient mantles of healing, ancient mantles. Grace for barrenness. Grace for barrenness. Grace for barrenness. Healing barren cases. Hallelujah. Hold on. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. God wants to release the healing anointing. Let's just stay here with this healing thing. God wants to release there are many more people i'm not seeing them receive it yet father you want to release this grace there is such a grace as the healing anointing i pray for you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado may the power of god come on you now everyone everyone everywhere men women take it take it Take it, fire upon your spirit. Hello, human of night. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, human of night. Thy kingdom come.
I don't know how we are going to manage this now. Ushers, there is a prophecy for you. The Lord says I should tell you from now, as you hold people and as you shake them, there will be a transference on every one usher. I'm prophesying now. That's why I say I don't know what we'll do. Ushers, ushers, receive that mantle. Receive that mantle. A strange healing grace coming on our ushers. Supernatural supernatural the unction take it take it where you are let that fire come upon you upon ushers in a strange way upon ushers in a strange way the grace for the miraculous no longer will you just hold people no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats you release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please everyone lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. That's why, please keep your hands. I want to pray for you. Don't say I'm not called into a businessman. That's none of your business. Just listen to what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. It's a grace. It's a grace. I believe maybe in the course of the service, we'll call a Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly, truly upon your life. Lift your hands. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace for the marketplace. You don't go there through desire. It's not that you are a, mon a money monger, you just go, but strange ideas strange insight do you know i'm seeing a number four and one 41 this will affect many people inside and outside whether you're a businessman or not is not what i'm asking you that grace will locate you where you are a grace for the marketplace lord in the name of jesus inside and outside all the overflows online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now i release it supernatural access 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 to business strategies access to ideas take it right now receive it receive it it's coming on people receive it receive it receive it is coming on you so that you will go and prosper 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 There is a woman, one of our mothers, this grace that I'm talking about is coming on you now. Now, one of our mothers, one of our mothers is receiving that grace. God is releasing that grace. Whether you are inside or outside, whoever it is, I release that grace now. There is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit. You must take that grace now. You must take that grace now. Uncommon ability. Uncommon ability. Uncommon insight. For the works of your hands to begin to produce fruit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Look at me. Please help them. How many of you are trusting God to restore something that has left your life? It can be anything. How many of you are trusting God? I want to release that grace now. And I want you to believe it. Some of you had destiny helpers. But something happened and they left your life. 
some of you had quality relationships but it left your life some of you had finances but it left your life some of you even had certain levels of graces the lord is asking me to prophesy restoration Kai, this is going to land on people's head i'm seeing this thing there are physical gifts you used to see in your life not gifts of the spirit not just gifts of the spirit gifts gifts endowments for some reason it disappeared some of you are actually worshippers singers but that grace left is coming back is coming back i invoke the grace that he has put upon my life i prophesy strange restoration i call it by name and i command it back to your life i call it by name everything you once were that you now are not i command you to become it now i command you to become it now i release that grace i release that grace receive it i release that grace i release that grace hallelujah now listen listen there are some of us hear me you have been doing certain things but the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life this is a very serious prayer i want to pray for you you have been doing business with the brain of a money monger but not the grace for the marketplace you have been singing only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive that grace now take it take it grace grace for your academics grace for the ministry grace Help me. The chains are gone. That help me back. Hey, 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 hallelujah hallelujah please i'm seeing something happening here right now there are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically hold them hold them so they don't injure people i release the grace you won't control yourself physically running speed physically i release that grace now receive grace for speed receive grace for speed right now right now i command you to run run in the spirit catch up 
catch up, catch up by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I release thee. I release thee. I release thee. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Words you speak, the things around your arms. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. You took away the chains and that helped me go. Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this number one. Number two. Please. If you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please i permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we are going to be praying here tonight and we are going to be asking the fire of god to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you are here you are trusting god for healing i understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we are going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here and jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord hey, Jimmy, please you help us hey, Jimmy will be outside here and pastor jakes will be down outside there praise the lord benga you go with pastor jakes you will help pastor jakes outside um pastor alpha you'll be outside just help them and then um who, who is around again is femi around okay so you can just come and help me here so let's do it that way very fast very very fast if there are more people there see promise is here michael is here so maybe you can add one okay promise just follow promise follow pastor jakes michael follow a jimmy please let's do it very very fast while hold on please don't be distracted don't cut the flow we are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray and then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted. I expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. For those stationed at different points, whether at the back, any of the overflows, I'd like you to believe God for a miracle right now. Believe God for a miracle. You can see someone like our daddy. He has come with his crutch, believing God to walk. You believe you walk, sir. You believe the Lord will heal you. So get ready to walk. You see, there are people stationed around. We are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him 
Who came with our daddy? You came by yourself, sir. Came by myself. By yourself. From where, sir? Was the station here. You cannot walk. I can move with you. This walk is stick. Which but of the legs has a problem? This is the leg. This is stroke. Yes. Can you lift it? No, I can't. I can't. The hand, I can't lift Hold it. on. Look at this. Sir, look at me. You believe in Jesus? I believe. You believe in the power of I Jesus? Believe. Lord, I introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? The Lord will begin to touch you. Your hands, everything is already dead. Sir, lift your leg. Lift your leg. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your leg. Lift it. Lift your leg. Lift your leg. Start. Try to walk gently. Come. Come. Try to walk gently. Come. Give me the stick. Look at me. Look at your stick. Come. 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 Don't be afraid. Come. Look at this, look at what is happening to this man. Came with this thing. Look at this. 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 Find a chair and just keep him, let him sit down while the power of God touches him. Sir, you came here by yourself. Um, trust him. Okay, and the boy has gone. Okay, he's somewhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God you believe has begun this miracle. You will perfect it. Look for a stick for him there. Hold your stick by yourself and go. Don't put it on the ground. Hold it up. Walk by yourself and go. Give Jesus praise. Look at what God is Heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is still sick here. Someone is still sick here. I'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me. Someone is still sick here. No, 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 no. I'll pray for you. But I'm saying, I feel it within this vicinity from ministers roll down, choir. Someone is sick. Come, let me pray for you. You came out. Lift your hands. Jesus. Someone is sick. Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth? Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health-related case. But this is a challenge with married people. This has affected, it's one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. Right now. Elder brother, supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
you are holding her but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue i see a transference of grace from a jimmy's wife to you you are doing your work as an usher but you have received something very strange and very powerful you see let me tell you something if if you do not you say hold on walking in the anointing is more than having it having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing if not you will be anointed but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing it's like a man shooting anyhow you must have discernment many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished praying you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her her and Mata, two of them there is i don't know what it is but i'm seeing i don't know why god is doing this thing it's a strange God, god is giving two of them strange favor strange favor i see strange favor strange favor america god is giving you access i'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head and god is saying he's giving you strange access strange access strange access strange access strange access Muas, God is giving strange favor. Strange favor. Strange favor. Strange favor. Hallelujah. I don't know what I'm saying, but this is a word for someone. And the Lord is saying, why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year? Why make it next year? when i have destined it to be this year this is the word of the lord why make it next year this is a word for many people when i've destined it to be this year as i speak to you the word is for you the power of god will locate you why make it next year when i have destined it to be this year it's the year of triumph it's the year of triumph why make it next year just allow me to do my stupidity why make it next year when i have destined it to be this year why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year? My God. Hallelujah. There is a lady here. You have been disappointed with God right now. You actually came help the ushers. You came expecting that i would directly call your case and you you, you you pray this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and i didn't call your case the power of god is coming on you now now as a sign that god had now wherever you are he's locating you now now I command that spirit to leave you. I see you in the spirit. Go now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I stretch my hands now and I command. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Peace to your spirit. Every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Alléluia. Pastor Jack is still playing outside. Okay, we can just do it. This is a listen. There are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss. Ah, there is, I mean, God is just doing certain things. It's like something is really happening. Don't worry about what is happening. Impartations. God, see, let me tell you right now, if the anointing comes on you, just know that it's the answer to your prayer. This is not a special once the anointing comes on you. Just know that your prayer has been answered. You understand? This is what it doesn't mean if the anoint if you don't fall down, it's not answered. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying this is how God is choosing to confirm to some people now, as I'm talking, that your prayer, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how difficult your prayer is. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, everyone, please stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. Please, Pastor Jakes, come. What do you mean? Please, okay, he's writing something. Just stretch your hands here and pray. And pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost from the depth of your heart. Stretch your hands. Shakatopakata. Leketeketekete. Stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. No, Lima, pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. Shake it to go to Toketa. Rakata Kata Makata. So poto so pekete. Miracles, so God. Testimony, so God. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. Visit impossible situations. I tell you, God is moving. I see a cloud. I see a cloud over this prayer request. That's what I see in the spirit. God is moving upon it. Moving upon it. Moving upon it. The Spirit of God is moving over the prayer request, visiting families, releasing angels, releasing angels, visiting the request. I'm seeing the cloud of God's presence, visiting the prayer request. Savior, He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus, sing it one more time for God. Say. Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministering spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. The heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus. It has been decreed, it has been ratified. And it is done in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you exceedingly, abundantly, 
above all that we ask above all that we imagine is done in the name of jesus we give you praise father we thank you we thank you we thank you in jesus name we have decreed come on give jesus praise give jesus mighty praise hallelujah please let me still come pastor jake's come i just feel like doing this is I, I don't always do this but i want to prophesy over your lives and in the name of jesus they are my friends but the lord is telling me to speak over their lives they are great men of god in power but in the name of jesus the lord is saying i should prophesy the next dimension to prophesy a new level and in the name of jesus i speak it step into a new dimension a Jimmy God is saying I should release grace for access. I command that grace. Strange access. Strange access. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Strange access. Gifted men coming into your life. Connections with gifted men. In the name of Jesus. And Pastor Jakes, God is giving you influence. Strange influence. Strange influence. Strange influence. Strange influence. Is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence lord i pray in the name of jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are i bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are i prophesy to tosin wherever she is and i speak to hope you are one so i prophesy as it happens to you i bring your wives into this experience in the name of jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once i spotted lizzie somewhere one of the oldest e and i lady come she came in from abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the Lord is saying I should prophesy a release. I told you about ladies who used to climb trees. When this ministry started, no money, no nothing. They were in welfare, they were in worship team at the same time. They would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades. And the Lord is saying I should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the lord father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over lizzie and lord jesus i prophesy i prophesy according to the word that you are giving me i open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter shabaka toto barekete zat kaskapas katapas katapas Legate to soto prendeke skopari adabalaba. A new chapter, a new chapter, a new chapter, a new chapter. And as many who desire to drink of this grace, a new chapter, a new chapter, a new chapter. As many who desire to drink of this grace, a new chapter. In the name of Jesus, a new chapter. Listen. I prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. We're rounding up. Who is this girl? Come. You. God has chosen to visit you. Come. Come and stand here. God is wiping your tears. This prayer I'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny. I lay my hands upon you and I command the gates to be opened now. I stood there and I saw you and the Lord said I should open that gate. I lay my hands upon you. I command the gates to be opened. Be opened right now. Be opened right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be opened right now. We're rounding up. We're rounding up. Please, this lady with uh, yellow, blue, you come. 
I don't know you, but the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Lift your hands. This is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings. I lay my hands and I remove the embargo from your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command. Uh -uh. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. Jesus, please visit them. Strange visitations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strange visitations. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. I just saw a door open and I saw a name come out. Listen. I saw a name come out and I saw the Okalo family. The Okalo family. This is Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. God is visiting your people. All three of you, step into that grace. I open that door now. The Okalo family, step into that grace. Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down whatever has covered your glory I speak it right now in the name of Jesus let it be open 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 I unveil your glory I unveil your glory I unveil your glory Shaka -ta -ta -ta. I unveil your glory. I unveil your glory. Tonight is a strange night. Please receive every prophetic word that I'm going to pray for you. Ah, just allow me to do one more thing. The Spirit of God, I have not seen this in a while. I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria and I see Benway State. The Spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now. Touching people. You know how it happens when I speak. Benway, Benway. Miracles. Locate them now, oh God. People from Benway. Benway. Strange grace. Strange grace. I break witchcraft. Benway. I'm seeing Benway. hallelujah hallelujah i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right i'm seeing i know o to go but i'm seeing the o a a at the is there a place like that or to bar or something the power of god i'm seeing that going to that area the lord is bringing a miracle ends with an a whoever comes from that region in the name of jesus breakthrough 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 Strange breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Benway. 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 I don't know why God is doing this, but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo state. Emo state, the anointing of the spirit locates them now strangely. Matato Sotota, Emo state, miracles, miracles, breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles, miracles to Emo state by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. If you're from Cross River, Cross River, Calabar, something is happening right now. Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, 
cross river. Help her, help her, please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. It's the ministry of signs and wonders. Let me talk to you, my dear. This lady looking at me. You, come. The Lord has located you today. Come. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you for shame. He's bringing laughter to your life. 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 Lift your hands. We are rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things. And so you think when these things are happening, you don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations. I want to pray for you. Please receive everything I pray for you. Every age-long challenge every challenge that has refused to leave i prophesy upon it right now i command that it comes to an end in your life now 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 that fair lady come this lady time run come Lift your hands, I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus, listen. Whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life, I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. I saw you inside a cave and I'm surprised because we've prayed for, for deliverance prayer. And I saw you inside a cave. You are just trying to push the door. That's why I asked you to come out. Let me, I don't know you. Do I know you? Where did you come from? Damagadi. Where? Damagadi. Kutuku. Where is that? I don't know. Here in Zaria. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough. Two things. God is going to throw somebody out of your life. I'm not a prophet of group, but it will happen. He will reach three days. Huh? Throw completely so that you can move forward. I hold your hands in the name of Jesus. Every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need to love Jesus with all your heart. Right? You are a nice person but your relationship with Jesus you, you can get teachings after this but I want to prophesy on your life God is taking somebody not death though just driving somebody out an unwanted person out of your life I prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen I lay my hands on you and I provoke the heavens to release that favor for you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over every family represented here whether your nuclear family your extended family hold on i don't know what has gone wrong but in the name of jesus within now and miracle service match dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families dramatic turn around for families in the name of jesus one of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers. I want to pray for you. I don't know where they are, but one thing I know is they never come on their own. They are called by prophecy. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come. Come and hold my hands. 
congratulations i'm seeing a job this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing a very good job and the lord is saying i should congratulate you look at me you will stand here and testify before the people of God. all the holy ghost said i should tell you is congratulations and i hold your hand in the name of jesus christ may it come to pass i decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god in one month 30 days i stand here under the unction of the holy ghost 30 days beginning from today step into those results step into those results step into those results step into those results strange dimensions of results hallelujah whoever has despised you whether to your knowing or not to your knowing i pray may god put them on the scene as he lifts you may they watch your rising as god honors you i pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down prayer life down your praise and worship life down fasting down word life down in the name of jesus christ i activate fresh grace receive it fresh grace fresh fire outside receive it fresh grace fresh fire fresh grace hallelujah wherever your prosperity is i pray may listen listen hagar carried ishmael and they were roaming around the desert they said there was no water but when an angel appeared all of a sudden they saw water that you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there i open your eyes to see where god has anointed to bring you financial blessings i open your eyes in the name of jesus i open your eyes to see where god has placed your prosperity hallelujah the plague of death that is looming around this nation looking for people and families is listen it's like a graph it rises then sometimes it relaxes i'm praying whoever calls your name i'm prophesying this so whether in the secret or the open to invoke death upon your life i command the earth to open and swallow them I command the earth to open and swallow them. Whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you, may misery follow them. The Esther anointing, the unction and the grace, that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus, Shababa Satalakata. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now. Take it. I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and we are done. Hallelujah listen listen many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection listen i want to pray something that is very powerful in your life listen when you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you it's a cause are you hearing what i'm saying now the bible says defend you in the day of trouble there are many of us if for any reason things go wrong in your life you are in trouble there is nobody that can arise as a defense but i'm prophesying to you right now in the name of jesus christ whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors i call them forth right now in the name of jesus may god raise men to be a wall of defense for you in this wicked 
um, wicked state that we are living right now in this country people say if you don't have anybody and honestly speaking somebody can get up and come and seize your land you and your land and your paper they will collect it because there is no defense i'm prophesying again quarter to shame may god raise a defense for you and finally i want to pray the prayer of jabez for you many of us have many of us have not studied honor is not money listen listen there are many rich people with no honor are we together there are many well-to-do people with no honor do you know what honor is honor is when god anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation so for every one person who talks nonsense there are thousands honor jabez said oda the mother bore him in sorrow you brought shame for me so i call you jabez honor is more than money brothers and sisters the bible says a good name is better than riches i pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of god has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all name for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that mantle right now Take that mantle right now. They don't have to know you, but strangers will come to feed your flock. Receive that grace for honor. Hallelujah. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We lift our hands to the great I am who was and who is and is to come. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin.